Is that okay? It was really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Was amazing. Anna would not just tell me that, just nope, to make me feel better. Thank you. Uh, I am Man <laughs> from Man vs. Game. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I am joined by uh, Garth from Varaxis. Yes. And we are here to talk about XCOM 2, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm so hyped. That trailer. Uh, uh, you know, because what you do is you watch you know, the, the, the hype trailers and you try and glean, you know, like, what's the new features, what's going on. There's so much to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, that trailer was incredibly fun. Uh, to make the team did a fantastic job. Uh, the cool thing about that trailer, obviously, you're, you're world building and, and you're, you're setting the tone for what the world is going to be. But the stuff you see in that trailer uh, is is reflective of of things you are going to see in the game. Exactly. Um, some very cool stuff. So and and you're going to actually get a little little taste of that with the Viper uh, that you saw in our Ooh. gameplay demo coming that's, up. So. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I didn't even know if we had any. Yes. Uh, yes. That's, I, yes, we do. I'm really stoked for that. Super but hyped. I also want to hear, you know, the really important thing you said is how we're expanding the story in the universe of XCOM. So I want to hear, what does the world of XCOM 2 look like? Yeah, um, we're actually really excited about this because uh, when, so Enemy Unknown, um, you beat the game and you, sa you save the world, right? Mo mo uh, most people beat the game. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> well, I also, also, also you go ahead. Wait, Darth, tell me, I just tell me your experience. Thing. I did beat the game, just maybe not on Impossible Iron Man. You know, like some crazy people. You know, like are Plumis. you going for Impossible Iron Man? I'm impressed. I'm just even... that you're going for it. Uh, no, actually, <laughs> I, I classic even you know would okay. be you know yeah, that'd be cl amazing. Cl classic is a, is a big deal in and of itself. If you're going to Impossible, Thank that's a new level of crazy. Thank you. It is. Uh, I I just want to give a shout out to Tornus, who is a, he's a streamer who yeah. he has beaten it on Impossible uh, Iron Man mode. Tornus, all hail you. Exactly. Uh, that's that's amazing. The Russian heart. Anyway, let's t get back to XCOM 2. Uh, Looks like we actually have some footage here. Oh, what are we here we go. At? Yes. Wow. Okay, we're going right in. So uh, I didn't get to, to, to what the world is about, but the bottom line is XCOM is lost, which which really is in line with a lot of players' experiences as well in the Enemy Unknown timeline. Most people, I don't know about your first playthrough, you seem like a pretty veteran player, but uh, a lot of people lost the first time they played XCOM. It's a, it's a highly challenging game. Oh, yeah. So that's an interesting uh, area for us to say, okay, what if XCOM lost? In that universe, they're needed. The aliens occupy Earth, and we fast forward 20 years. And here we are in this sort of city center um, that the aliens have, have created to, to uh, do some nefarious things that the players are going to find out about. But XCOM has been scattered. They're now a resistance unit, and they need to rebuild. The odds are really stacked against them. And this demo is an inciting incident where um, the XCOM is finally revealing themselves from the shadows. And that trickles down to a lot of really cool mechanics like concealment, and you can now get the jump on aliens and, and, and give ambushes on them, which you could not do on Enemy Unknown, and that's what's being set up right here. Sweet. And here's the alien activity. Yeah, so this is actually the Advent Administration. So the aliens, uh, again, they have these cities that are sort of false utopias. They want to make you feel like they've cured disease and there's no more criminal activity. And they have these guys, the Advent Troopers and the Advent Captains on the front lines that are sort of the facade for, for what's going on. So XCOM knows that, you know, 
those guys are not too good, but the rest of, of, of humans have sort of been sort of mind washed and they're living in these cities thinking everything's okay. Wow. And now XCOM in this moment, they're actually gonna take the gloves off and punch the admin in the face. <laughs> not, not literally. Oh, they're, they're gonna use some guns instead. But <laughs> exactly. Metaphorically. <laughs> Metaphorically. There you go, yep. Um, but th this is this this shows that because you're now a resistance, there's cool things you can do with the mechanics of the game. And right now we're setting up an ambush through the concealment and resist and uh, and stealth system. Oh, and this is part of what I love about the series, uh, the strategy is so deep. And oh, yeah. The way you can set it up. Oh, yeah. Got the shot, baby. <laughs> right, so concealment is now broken. The aliens try to scatter. We put Overwatch on our two units yes. that were waiting, and boom, we ambush. Oh, looks so awesome. Man, I XCOM as an entire series is just such a great thing to watch because it's so beautiful even in the kind of like methodicalness of it and then we were just talking about the art style how as a gamer i prefer a lot of color in my games and this manages to be dark and yet colorful at the same time and this is kind of matching that same aesthetic that i really love to watch you you are going to make our, our art director and our team very happy with that observation Good. um because yeah they they, they they were very conscious of that they want to avoid sort of the you know overdone monochromatic thing um, and there is a lot of really cool pops of color in here. Um, we we want we want it to feel more vibrant, um, but at the same time, there's sort of this eerie feel in these city yeah. centers because this is this is in the aliens' likeness what they think humanity would be drawn to, like a moth to a flame. These cities that they've rebuilt, oh. but it's 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 supposed to be a little bit off base, but still pops of color and, and things like that. That must have been really interesting and kind of like a. A fun intellectual journey to design oh, what, yeah. we, what aliens would think we would want and yeah. how to make that a little bit off. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And this alien, uh, you don't want. The Viper, I yeah. Stay away from this alien. Oh. So you saw the Viper Whoa. in the trailer, and here's a little surprise of what Whoa. you might do. Whoa! Chameleon style. Oh, oh. It moves. It's so gross and awesome. You know what? I'm not even playing this game yet, and I'm pissed. <laughs> like, like, if that was my player, because because that's the thing is like your soldiers, you get you know you get to know them like intimately. Yeah. And like as they build and grow. You, that's right. It's like, and then when oh if if they die, they're dead. Yeah. And it's, you're just like, oh man. Dude. This, my husband plays this game a lot, and he, he always names one of his first crew members after me, oh. and I always, die. I always oh. die. Now you're, you're husband, you <laughs> your husband seems like a good man. I mean, he plays XCOM. That he's a good oh yeah, man, he loves it, and he, he actually had questions for you. Oh, did he? he? Sent me. Yeah, I said, you know, is there anything you want to ask? He he wanted me to ask first if he could come live with you. Um, <laughs> I told him probably not. Well, uh, I, can I see a picture? Well, well, oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a, okay, honey, there's a chance, but I would prefer if you lived with me still. Yes. Just generally. He also wanted me to ask really quickly about Long War Mod. What do you guys think of it? The Long War Mod is amazing. Um, so uh, the Long War Mod is is after we released XCOM EU and Enemy Within, um, there were these guys that basically did some dark magic and created this amazing very, very long experience of XCOM <laughs> that added a lot of depth and different things you can do with the game. Um, and for people that try Impossible Iron Man, uh, if you can't get enough of, of, of XCOM EU, we say go go play The Long War. And that's something that we want to push further with XCOM 2, with cool. modability. Uh -huh. We're going to be providing all these tools, the editor, um, the gameplay source, to see what the modding community, what other worlds they can create. Wow. So it's replayability, sorry. Go for it. Replayability, a, a priority for you guys? Oh, yeah. It's a huge It's a huge priority. We didn't, I don't even think we got to the procedural maps. No. Oh, I my know. gosh. I was yeah, gonna, you like that? that? I was going to ask about, like, the terrain types, you know, because yeah. the different type of maps. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the team sort of cracked the code on how to make um, infinite maps. You will never see, see the same layout twice. So awesome. They're still beautiful. They're still handcrafted segments, mm. but you're not going to have that sense of, oh, I've been to this museum before, or this gas station before. That's so cool. Because yeah. yeah. it kind of, like, in the first one, um, it's so fun, but there is that element where, like, if you recognize the map, you're like, oh, it's this map. That's right. That's um, right. I love that idea of procedural, uh, procedurally generated map. Yeah. Uh, it, it, do you know, like, uh, are we looking at, like, how many, like, new alien races, you know, like, is it? There are there weapons? are a lot more than EU. I can tell you that. The ones we've revealed so far, the Sectoid, the Viper, three different advent units with the Trooper, the Captain, and the Mech. Yes. Um, and the, the, the Berserker, who we didn't get to at the end of this demo. Oh, wow. uh, There's an evolved version of the Berserker from, from the first one. And oh, good. And definitely do not want to <laughs> let her get close to you because she will smash some faces in. Um, I can imagine. And there, there's, there's just other cool mechanics tied to that. You can now carry your units 
units off the battlefield. Um, there's so many more enemy and, and, and uh, XCOM abilities as well. There's just a lot more there to play longer. Wow. And, I was, and I'm, I'm assuming, you know, like new weapons, new oh, yeah. abilities. New yeah, you can actually upgrade your individual weapons now. So there's loot you can pick up on the battlefield, which is very, very different than, than EU. You can take those attachments back to base and slap them on, on your weapons to modify the oh. weapons a little oh, bit. That's so really badass. Cool. Yeah. So I can see, like, falling in love with, like, a particular, you know, soldier even more. Because, like, yeah. that, that's ah. my sniper that's with, like, right. that beautiful, uh, you know, sniper rifle. Did you name your soldiers after, like, anything in particular? Oh, absolutely. Family? Did you go family members? I went for, like, uh, whatever was the funniest. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I, I think I had a, a, oh, man, one of my soldiers was, like, Charles Barkley or, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I did the Dream Team one time, too. That's, uh, yeah, th th those are fun ones. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a good time. Um, well, Garth, thank you so very much for uh, sitting in with us. Thank you. Um, really really quick, let's, uh, any information that, that you want to get out there? Do you want to talk about, like, platforms that's going to be available? Uh, yeah, so it's going to be available in November 2015 on PC. Oh, it's so yeah. exciting. Cool. I know. We're, we're very excited. It's coming soon. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a glorious fall for gaming. Yes. yes. Now, it, it's a, is this a PC exclusive? It is. It is. PC exclusive. Yeah. Amazing. And which, excitement? Yes, that, was, for that me, was me yeah. not, not saying my excitement. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Glorious PC gaming overlords yeah. unite. That's right. That's uh, right. <laughs> well, Garth, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank Anna, you, guys. Yeah. Thank wonderful you. as always. Uh, I think we are going to take a quick break. Be back right here with more content from E3 2015 live, powered by Twitch. Stay tuned. <sighs> Turtle Beach Elite 800. Revolutionary surround sound. Hidden microphones. Magnetic charging stand. Completely wireless. The Turtle Beach Elite 800X for Xbox One. Share your nachos? Sharing. Since you were a kid, it's been share this, share that. Share your toys. Share the bathroom. Share the road, share your feelings, share selfies, share baby pictures, so many baby pictures. Share, share, overshare. When does the sharing stop? How about with the grilled stuffed nacho from Taco Bell? The first nachos designed not to be shared. It's everything you love about nachos wrapped up and ready to go for a buck forty-nine. Oh, and don't share this ad. Lara Croft Go. Now this is a uh, this is an exciting game right here because we have some serious Lara.